What's going on? What's going on? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Hard in the Paint. This morning, we will be tackling the uh, DeAndre Johnson issue at Florida State. Um, by now, we all know that he has been dismissed from the team permanently for an incident that took place at Yanni's um, last week where he uh, got into an altercation with a young lady. Um, there are people spending many sides to this and there are many sides to spend. But I've taken a look at the video and um, as a father of two daughters, one of the things that I don't condone is domestic violence against women. But in this particular instance, there are some things that, that we need to take a look at. One of the things that I tell my daughters is don't get into a violent altercation with a young man. Um, it's not worth it because at the end of the day, you're not a man. So what I have right now is I have my desktop in front of me and I also have my laptop to the side of me. And I'm at the... The uh, how can I put this? I'm at the I want to say the one minute and fifty two second mark, where the young lady um comes up. She's getting her drink. It's at the minute and fifty two second. Um, she comes up to the bar, and as she comes up to the bar, um, we see DeAndre making his way to the bar. She turns around. She says something to him, and he eases past her, pulls himself up to the bar, and uh, turns around, and they're having some words with each other. She cocks her fist up. I'm at the... 1 minute 57 second mark and she's got her arms cocked and she's got one her right arm is cocked and she's got a, another arm her left arm in front of his chest and she he grabs they still having words so he grabs her right arm um, he's restraining her at this point and she's yelling at him we're at the uh, two minute mark of this video and she tries to remove her right arm from his arm uh, she punches him he punches her back this is at the two minute and three three second mark um, so we're gonna go back here a little bit she needs she tries to knee him at the two minute and two second mark now he didn't hit her hard um, hard enough to get her attention but she's still standing she's checking her mouth she doesn't believe she got hit a friend is consoling her um she really does not believe that she's gotten hit. DeAndre's gone by now. Uh, she tried to punch him with her left arm. Okay. Many people are going to draw from this what they will. And, and that's fine. That's cool. I mean, it is what it is. But we have two youngsters. Two kids, basically, uh, at a club, not being mature enough knowing how to handle the situation. She could have easily told him to uh, watch where he was going without drawing back her right arm to um, initiate that she was going to punch him. Listen, long story short, it's 2015, and you know the feminists of the world want equal rights. Uh, I know we're supposed to have ladies and we're supposed to have gentlemen, but we do have women that go above and beyond and say, hey, I want to be treated like a man. Well, okay, you you really can't have it both ways. I mean, honestly, you can't have it both ways. Let's sit around and look at this thing like this. Um, she should never have pulled a hand back because I'm going to take a line out of uh, 
Matthew McConaughey's A Time to Kill. Imagine if this was a guy. DeAndre Johnson uh, brushes past the guy and the guy pulls his right arm back to hit DeAndre Johnson. And DeAndre Johnson restrains the guy by holding the guy's right arm. And the guy tries to knee DeAndre unsuccessfully, but tries to de knee DeAndre. And DeAndre pushes the guy away. And the guy takes a swing at DeAndre with his left arm. And DeAndre punches the guy. Are we still even having this conversation? No. Okay. Let's say it's not DeAndre. Let's say it's two females that are having this altercation. What are we looking at then? Who's the aggressor? We would say that the female that swung first should have gotten her behind kick. The female that swung first should have gotten her behind kick. And we would be just fine with the altercation. Um, there might have been some differences if the female who swung first were a Caucasian female and the female who cold cocked her was an African American female. But if this were two African American females, <clears throat> and I'm not trying to make this about color, I'm just looking at how we psychologically look at things differently. If this would have been two African American females, two Caucasian females, two Caucasian guys, two African American guys, um, even if it would have been, uh, I'm pretty sure. A African American guy and a Caucasian guy with a Caucasian guy tried to swing first we'd be looking at this thing a little bit differently um, the person who swung first nine times out of ten would have been the person who had it coming but in this particular instance because of the problems that Florida State has had with uh, Jameis Winston in that past and because of the heightened sensitivity um, around and, and justifiably so domestic violence men against women this is how we look at this thing but at some point in time, women have to be held accountable. Now, if I'm DeAndre Johnson's attorney, I'm going to look at this video and say that my client was not the aggressor. And it's clearly just a matter of breaking down the video the same way that I broke down the video. As a matter of fact, if I'm DeAndre Johnson's attorney, I'm probably going to sue this young lady because she not only did she instigate an incident, but she also cost my client uh, his career at Florida State University. I'm going to go for it. And then you got some attorneys out there that's going to go for it. Theo, you're making too much out of it. Theo's not impossible. That's a laugh. I've seen people get away with more over less. I digress. <laughs> but at some point in time, females are going to have to learn that getting into a physical altercation with a man is never acceptable. You want to be treated as equals? That's fine. I get it. If you want a man to act like a gentleman? That's fine. I get it. But at some point in time, ladies, women, females, are going to have to start acting like ladies and in this particular instance as I look in the video a man brushes across you brushes past you trying to get to the bar and everything like that you can turn around and look at him and say simply excuse me because we always want the man to take the higher road be the gentleman and walk away but ladies have that option on the table too that's how I raise mine you had an option on the table to be a lady and walk away she could have said excuse me um, I'm sorry could you say excuse me and let that be that but she didn't. She got angry. She got upset. She threw her setup. That's how we say it in the streets, right? She threw her setup. Got restrained by the guy, and she was having none of that. Uh, she tried to kick the dude, and then she eventually swung at the guy. And the guy said, no, I'm not having that. He hit her and just hit her hard enough really to gain her attention. Mind you, I'm not saying what he did was right. But what I'm also saying is, is that at some point in time, we're going to have to stop playing the gender game when it comes to being right or wrong. And we're going to have to just start looking at what's right and what's wrong. That's my viewpoint on that. Um, I'm Theo, once again, hard in the paint, where no subject is out of bounds. And I do mean no subject is out of bounds. Peace.